welcome to Christ Center Gamer's video game review of Super Ubi Island. It's a story about a little alien who crashes into Earth. A lot of aliens tend to do that in video games about aliens, but anyways, he's been crashing into Earth, and um, when he crashed, he disrupts a queen, a queen bee's colony and scatters all her worker bees all over the place, so besides piecing together his ship, which all the pieces are protected by bosses, he should help and find all these missing worker bees. And of course, he'll be rewarded upon doing so. So... Super Ubi. This game was originally kickstarted in 2013, successfully. It had a meager uh, goal of 5,000 and exceeded at, I think at over 6,000 something. And uh, Ubisoft made them change the name. So instead of Ubi, Ubi, I, Ubi, I, E. And it's now called Ubi Island Remix instead of Ubi. So, alright, so yeah, there's several uh, modes you can use time trial if you want, but you can do the main game. And it looks like I played most of this game on my laptop, so my save didn't transfer over, so let me just create a new save here. And one thing on my laptop save is I never was able to find all three B's on the first level. And. Alright. Alright, come on. Cloudy Forest. Alright. So like many platforms, you can double jump. And you have to beat each level before it unlocks the other. And there's a guy that hides these diamonds, so there's some well-hidden diamonds to find in the store. Uh, you can use to spend the coins. So, sound effects are cute, graphics are passable. So you can grab apples for points. Now, enemies will respawn. You can see their shadows, so I'll know where he'll come back at. And collect leaves. Now, there's no lives. You get one life. You get a couple hits, so I can brush up against an enemy. But I cannot uh, land a spike or landing in water is uh, instant death. Other things to watch out for are explosions. You can also float. So. break your fall that way. This level isn't terribly challenging, but other than, other than no, I don't know where that, I still do not know where that third B is. So yeah, if I messed up and missed time that water jump thing, I'd have to do the whole level from start, uh, from, from the start. There's no checkpoints. So it's a little challenging in that regard. So you can go back and replay. Chances are many of the levels you'll have to replay to get all three Bs. And here I am at the exit. But I don't know where the third B is. Level complete. So that's pretty much how this goes. You, you complete all the um, levels in this area, then you can fight a boss. Uh, the next, this area is kind of like a jungle theme. The next area is like a desert theme. So each each section has different themes. So there it is. Two out of three Bs. I have no idea where the third one is. Um. Some of the levels I was able to get all three Bs, but a lot of times there's different paths you have to take, and then you can find, you know, go back and retry the level, take a different path, and get another B that way. So, you can use this to go to the store with the coins that you get. You can change Ubi. Oh, you can buy a soundtrack. You can uh, get, uh, <laughs> uh, change different colors of Ubi and stuff like that. So, that's what you do with those coins that you collect. So, that's it. This game's pretty clean, um, other than some, you know, cartoon violence of 
stomping on enemies, but they usually come back anyway, so is it really bad? Eh, I'll leave it to you to decide, but it's, I'd let my kids play it. Um, a couple quirks um, is that the controller, I, I'm i using an Xbox controller now and it's been working great, but I have a Bluetooth controller and what would happen is it would just freeze, it would stop working, and I'd have to hit escape to bring up the game menu and then close it and then my controller would be working again. So uh, there, there's that. So far this controller's been great, and you know, my Xbox controller's been great. Uh, so maybe it's just a Bluetooth issue. Um, another quirk is when you exit the game, Steam will still think you're in it, and it won't let you relaunch any other games. You have to stop the process. Uh, it's like NWJS or something like that. I think that's the name of the process. But if you stop that process, then you know Steam will your Steam color will go back blue, and you can launch any game you want again. But other than those issues, um, the game ran great. I uh, hope you found this uh, video review helpful. Thank you for watching. Got